Yes, concepts are always much easier. Idol is a concept <coughs> which is not going to change because you have put a concept. A human being can be very different from your concept. And that's why when Guruji is there, sometimes, oh, he looked at me, he didn't look at me, he loves that person more than me, all those things happen, no? doesn't happen with an idol, no? You just have to remember that when you go to the Guru, do you go to see the Guru when you want to have darshan? In the darshan line, do you go to Guru to see the Guru? Suppose he walks around, he doesn't look at you, then your purpose is still done, no? You saw the Guru, so what's your pain now? Your pain is, Guru has not seen me. So we go to give darshan to Guruji, not take his darshan. <laughs> See, Guruji ne mujhe dekha hi nahi. But in that satsang of 50,000 people, have you seen at least once, you will feel your connection has happened. You know, he has looked in your direction and you know connection has happened. How many people felt this? Even if it's a large crowd, you get the ones. And that connection is very important. You know, and that can happen only with a living, proper, Brahmanist Guru. You know, Guru are everybody, anybody who shows you, Guruji says, no? Like how mother, father is a guru, they teach you everything, no? Right from how to walk and how to eat and everything they taught. Even the person who says, hey, go right and then go left and then you'll reach wherever you want to reach. The Guru Tattva has come through that person, right? So a similar question had come to me. When I was traveling, I would feel Guruji always. With, how many are traveling teachers here? traveling teachers you must have felt that no so when you're traveling you feel he's with you he's inside you and sometimes I used to feel like people you know some people have that habit of saying how are you so they'll stress on the you and suddenly I'll go me <laughs> where am I you know where am I I would feel it's, it's Guruji only you know Guruji only talking and like that perhaps a little blue starish talk this is but I used to feel that way you know like what I felt was that Guruji is always with me but when I would come Guruji will be in front of me and at that time there was not much to do there was no pro projects there was no YLTP no RDP no nothing whole day we will be just sitting with Guruji Guruji sitting and we will be looking at him and sometimes Guruji would not speak at all for maybe one hour or something he would just be there playing with his mala now he's become so busy, doesn't even, I don't, I haven't seen him in years playing with his mala. That time there was nothing to do. So. No, have you seen him playing with the mala now? So I asked him and I felt, Guruji, you are sitting in front of me here and somehow I feel you are very far away. But when I'm traveling, when you're not there, I feel you are inside me in every cell. You are just with me and I don't miss you at all. But in your presence I feel distance. Why is this happening? And Guruji said, that's your ego. Then I said, then I can't deal with my ego. Then Guruji, you only remove this ego. And Guruji said, yes, that is my job. <laughs> To remove your ego is my job. Only when that veil of ego goes away, then you will see the truth and the light and whatever you call it. No? So that's a guru's job. So that an idol may not do, but a real guru in person can do. Removing that veil so that you are able to see the light. Right? And that's why in India here, you are expected to have a guru in your life like